this video, I'm going to talk about accessing and interpreting the long-term yield results on the NVT website. Long-term yield results are the most robust and reliable means for making variety selection decisions using NVT data. You can access the long-term MET reporter directly from the website. Today I'm going to select Birchip in 2018. Hit the go arrow and it will zoom in to that region selected. I'm going to select the main season week trial. The first and foremost is the long-term yield results. Here you'll find the tabulated MET data from five years at Birchip presented as a percentage of site mean yield. Varieties are ranked and sorted by an overall performance average and each prediction is colour coded with blue then green indicating high yields and yellow and red indicating low. The meta-analysis produces a prediction for every variety in every trial regardless of whether or not it was actually grown there. You can turn the present in trials button off to complete the matrix and see all the non-present predictions for this data set. This might be useful if you're a grower looking for information on a variety that has not been grown at your area. There are many options at the top of the screen where you can filter the varieties or the grain classification. Here I'll pick Australian hard and the data set's limited to only those varieties with AH classification. In the top right corner, you can turn the chart type to a line graph to better interpret the performance of varieties. This grabs the six highest yielding varieties based on their overall performance at Birchip. The predicted yields are charted based on the variation from the mean in tonnes per hectare. You can also add multiple locations to the data set with two options for viewing the results. Here I'm going to add Hopeton. The data presented now shows averages across the five years for the Birchip and Hopeton data combined. Alternatively, the second option is to turn on the load individual data button in the advanced options and view the individual trial results on the chart screen. This will be useful for growers that want to get an overall indication of performance of varieties at a number of environments around their farm. Trials in the data set with low accuracy and low variance accounted for are automatically excluded from the default data set. Using the slide bars, you can open up the data values to reintroduce all trials into the data set. You can also change the report type toggle from year to yield group to present the data based on half tonne yield groupings. This is a good way for users to see which varieties perform well in high yielding environments compared to those that perform well in low yielding environments. Using the tabs across the top of the screen, users can also view information on grain quality and the single site yield predictions. As you can see, there's an immense amount of information available through the NVT reporting systems. In this video, we've only just scratched the surface, so I encourage you to jump online and have a look for yourself. The site runs across all browsers, including mobile devices, but is best viewed on larger PC screens.